Hi team, uh, today I'll discuss uh, how to install SQL Server 2012 in Windows 7. So before uh, installation, we have to verify our, our system requirement and then we'll check compatible version for the system, then download the SQL version in exe version then uh, save into the local machine then we'll install sql server 2012 in our machine so here is a suggested uh, url that we can use uh, to download uh, before doing that let's see our uh, system uh, requirement uh, system detail what is there so just start click on start then right click on computer properties and here we can see there uh, my computer is windows 7 professional service pack and uh, 64 bit operating system system type so these three things is enough to verify now i'm closing this and using this url to download the sql so i'm clicking here internet explorer then going here and checking the what is that instruction here and see here we'll take this uh, version microsoft sql server 2012 express include both 32 bit and 64 bit so who are using 34 bit this version also will work so let's download this i've already downloaded in my machine but i'm showing how to download that so which one will have to uh, we need to pick up so this one we have to pick up so just select this and click on next and it will start downloading so we'll save it save as uh, i have my folder it's called sql server 2012 i can download here so i already have that so i don't want to download again so let's go there and actually i will uh, install one license version that i have so let me go there uh sql sql server 2012 and here is i have one license version so i'm clicking here then it will open a window this takes a little time so we have to wait for that so it's open now we can click on run so then it will open another window so it's extracting into the c drive So it's almost done. Now I have to click on yes. So it's showing, please wait while uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 setup process. Okay. So in here, we have to make sure we are selecting Eastern Allen installation feature so i'm clicking on here 
then it will open another window so we have to wait for that okay now here we have to uh, confirm license agreement by clicking I accept license terms and then send a uh, feature uses data Microsoft feature so that is better to select so then click on next So it's uh, checking for update. We can click here next. So update is progressing. We need to wait here a little bit. So it's uh, showing still that progress. Now here we have to select all feature so if it is unselected if you want to you can select those this unselect button but I need, we need to select all so now we have to just as as you see by default it's uh, loading to that to under program file C drive so click on next then actually it is install all feature here so now we are clicking here next then we'll see the instance here as you see our instance uh, automatically is here let me see what are then another feature is here back uh, so we will uh, select actually uh, default instance so it will be better now click here next so it is sql server database engine it is automatically uh, the uh, put the account name and so there is another SQL browser so that is already also uh, uh, set by default now we have to click on next As you see, uh, so by default, SQL Server Administrator is uh, my uh, PC and my username. So it is automatically uh, added here, Windows Authentication Mode. So if you want, uh, you can add here, uh, customize user and password or whatever you want. So now I'm actually keeping as a default now click on next <clears throat> so i am not selecting this just click on next then it will take little while so it will it is uh, showing installation progress so it will take little time so we have to wait for that it's still installation in progress we have to wait still it's running so it's almost done So it's completed 
and now we have to verify all feature got success succeed so it's all uh, successfully loaded so now we have to close this and check our just uh, refreshing why it is installed see as you see here uh, start then as you see Microsoft SQL Server 2012 now we have to click this one so before clicking that uh, let me check the this listener is started type service in here It's opening. Uh, let me expand a little bit this. Mexico. Okay. As you see, we have to go to the S SQL. Ah, it is started. That we have to make sure. SQL server is started or not. Now it is started. Let's uh, open SQL server. So we can make it as a also shortcut one. You just right click and send to desktop. It is shortcut created. Now let me open as a default user. So it is opening okay now we are before connecting we have to make sure as you see here server name so also username is here so let's say it's everything is fine uh, on this user fine here we have to check this one anti software or if if you can find this just click here <coughs> and expand this and see anti software just I want to make sure it is in here so <clears throat> now I'm going to connect. So it's connected successfully. So there is no database here right now. All our master da database and even so not table is here it seems. So we have to create table and whatever you want under we have to create a database. I have another a video you can follow those. And accordingly, you can work on it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I think it will be helpful who are new to database. Thanks.